You can see he is a team leader, a standout on the football field. But it's what you can't see that makes Nipmuc's Nick Byrne a true inspiration. He lost his hearing when he was just three years old. But SportsCenter 5's Josh Brogadier shows us he has never let that stop him from achieving his dreams, including the time when those implants that he uses to help hear stopped working mid-game. He lost ability to use his processors. They weren't working. And they came up with their own signs. All the players came up with their own signs they were going to use during the plays. Nick went back out there, played the whole game without hearing anything. On that day, this is how Nick Byrne experienced football. <laughs> Some people don't even know that I'm deaf when I'm on field. Any questions? All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Compare his experience to his teammates at Nipmuc Regional High School in Upton. Go. This is how they always experience football. We didn't allow him to play football until he bagged and pleaded with us, right? It was helmet hitting, with him wearing a uh, implant, that was certainly a question. Nick uses one cochlear implant while he plays and has a helmet specially fitted. And yet, this is a story about what he can do on the football field, not what he can't. Nick, as a senior, can lead his team. Nick, as a starting defensive lineman, can crush ball carriers. Hey, boys. What's going on, Bernie? Nick can be, make that is, a consummate teammate for the Nipmuc Warriors. Always been supporting me and always been with me on the field and off the field, too. No, I always I want to say good, I want to thank you guys for everything you did for me. No, never give up your dream. No, and never let anyone get in your way. Because I had some people who were in my way say, hey, you can't do this. Hey, deaf people can't do this. This is when gratitude plus perseverance equals achievement. A way to always follow those dreams. In Upton, Josh Brogadier, WCVB, Sports Center 5.